Hello. I missed you guys because I haven't been on, so I wanted to come on and let you guys check out the panda suit. I'm a panda! I'm a panda and I've got little ears! Hey, what's going on, Richie? <clears throat> you don't agree, Robin? <laughs> hey, Mark! Hey, yo! Lane! You're a m- You're a m- I mean, hi! <laughs> what's going on, everybody? What do you guys have to? Hey, don't eat that or- Lick that or pee on that. Don't do anything over there. You sent me a DM about trolls? Thank you. About looking cute. I'll check the DM. Dog scope? Well, whenever I do the Palma Wiener account, people don't join. It's got almost like a thousand followers for the dogs. But people don't join it. <laughs> yeah, I know, Rob. It's freaking, it's crazy, actually. It's freaking crazy. Where's the panda? I'm the panda. See, I've got little ears and everything. See, little panda ears. I'm a panda. Can't you guys tell? What? <laughs> I'm so not prepared. What are you, what are you scared about? Panda cannon. Yeah, that used to be my student. Go, 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 go. But then, he, go around the other way, dog. You learned how to do this yesterday. Go. Do it. Oh my god. Oh my dear lord, this dog. Look at it. Go around. Just go around. Come on, just go around. No, go the other way. Oh my god, he actually did it! Oh my god! He did it! Hi Dynasty, I see you in there. There we go. Or come back on snap I I only saw two people add me on snap and I added them back but they were girls it's a freaking panda you'll be put in a Chinese panda cage ice bear likes your doggy there we go that's better lighting but I have to walk backwards then <laughs> I haven't seen Da Panda Cannon. I don't know. I don't know where he is. He graduated in December because he had a, a half a year to go. And so I haven't heard from him since. Oh, you're so welcome, Sarah. I was actually at a restaurant, but, and I couldn't hear anything, but I know how you sound. So I was like, oh yeah, no, I'm gonna invite. So I, I just went, went ahead and invited and hearted and then went on and ate my dinner. <laughs> but I definitely wanted to uh, to get an invite in there. I'm literally walking my dogs backwards so that I have like a little bit of light still so it doesn't just go completely dark. But have you guys noticed there's not been much on Periscope? My snap's the same as everything. It's all in my bio. It's all past the bananas everywhere. Uh, no, I don't think he scopes anymore. I know, eh? Lighting. Yeah, I ate dinner already. It's it's just eight eight thirty almost. We were hungry. We was hungry, and I'm cold in my panda outfit. Cold. I'm cold. Cold. Hey, what's going on, Brag HQ? Is in the house. Um, have you guys noticed though that there hasn't been as much on Periscope lately, like? I haven't changed who I follow or how many. The senior special, shut up. Um, <laughs> and uh, and like every time I get on, yeah, it's dead. Well, no, tonight's Deadsville for sure. Um, the panda cannon gone, but like nothing's ever on. Like nothing. There's just like ten random things with some people being like, "This is a stick. I'm walking my dog." cleaning dishes I'm like I, I don't care and it's very sad because I used to be very entertained by scope and lately I have not seen much content I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest 
have not seen a lot of content going on. I will only follow if you send a pic with your hand in the air. <laughs> Mark, oh my God, I'm so sorry about that. Periscope is now more screwed up than ever, I know. I'm so sorry, Mark. I made Mark do this really, really creepy thing because I thought he was somebody hacking on to Mark's account and I didn't think it was, um... come here, come here, come here, come here. And I didn't think, I was like, I really didn't think it was him. And I was like, send me a picture with you pointing to the ceiling. And he sent me a picture, but it wasn't pointing to the ceiling. Yeah, Periscope has been glitchy. Oh, that's awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, that's all that's on is boob scopes. Like, honestly, the only ones that have any viewers in them and that have any, like, that are, like, actually live on scope are just are the beautiful ladies that show their boobies and so like nobody else has viewers in their room so much peri porn nobody else has viewers in their room and nobody else is like broadcasting i don't know if people just ran out of ideas and ran out of stuff to do yeah <laughs> alex khan has 50 do the math he's got like what is it, 200,000 followers and he has 50 people in there? I'm too shy to flirt with real girls, so I use Periscope to talk to pretty ladies. Well, there you go. Brie only had like 250. I know, it's ridiculous. It's gone in phases. But like this phase, <laughs> there's really little content. So like everybody that we used to really like because they were like parafamous, yeah, um, they're not parafamous anymore because they never were because they bought their followers and bought their hearts and that was phase one. Phase two was when we really actually got some, some good content on here and you know there was there was a use it was very, come on it was, you know, it was very relevant, very current and then phase three <laughs> is everyone's like, fuck I've done everything that I've already thought of, now what do I do? <laughs> and I feel like nobody's scoping and um I understand it's difficult to come up with content every single day or every single week, like I get that, but you know, I don't know. It just, everyone was doing it so much and now I'm not really, not really seeing as many people. The only people that are on are the ones that are, yeah, like Sarah said, watching the booby scopes. So <laughs> if you want to go in and watch booby scopes, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I, I definitely, like, when I when I get on at certain times, I'll have, like, you know, 20 or 30 people that are up and running, hi, and doing their thing. Um, the Boobiesco people don't get banned because they don't show nip or they don't show vagina. But, yeah, the music scopes are fantastic, but for some reason, Periscope is not huge on music scopes. Like, they've only featured one musician that I know of that wasn't already famous. Come on. And, uh, yeah, it's been flatlining the last six weeks. Can you come on? You, you're, pe you're air peeing now, dogs. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I thought, like, this would be an amazing platform for, you know, to get music out, which it has been for several people that I know. It's been extremely successful for Season and Snare, who made top six Periscopers of the year. I don't know when the actual Shorty Awards are, but that's a good use of Periscope. But that's one person that I know of that has helped their music career in that large of a sense. Otherwise, you know, it's just a way of getting <laughs> docky tour. It's just a way of, you know, promoting your music and stuff. <laughs> Thank you. I think it just gotta keep doing it because it will pick up. Yeah, I believe so as well. It's just going through this weird phase right now where like there's nothing going on. How are ya? Come on, guys. You look all cute, too. Thank you. Um, yeah, definitely. Stop it. Fontaine is, uh, I believe, touring in, like, Australia or something right now. Um, which is really cool, too. Uh, so, yeah, they've been killing it, and that's been really cool. But besides that, I'm just, you know, only 10 million people. Yeah, they had like 13 million users or whatever, like back in December, but then, uh, no, I haven't. Um, but then, yeah, I don't, I mean, think about how many people have like so many different accounts and, you know, the ones that have gotten banned and then re, they reopen them and 
No, there is a lot of room to grow for sure. Hello, I'm here. Still scope, so don't forget to watch us sing. New Adele lyrics, I love it. All right, I'm going back inside, guys. I made it back alive. I made it, I made it, I made it back alive. Take five, you came in just as I was about to end my scoop. Come here, guys. Panda scope. Panda scope. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Not the band take five, the person. The, the periscoper. He's all just in there like, I love take five. <laughs> um, she dropped off the face of the parasite. Oh, stop it. Okay. There we go. No, I'm still here. I am still very much here. <laughs> Pandas. Um, but I just... I'm just talking about the fact that Periscope is changing and it's either going to... Um, you know, turn into this third phase of like people actually putting out good content and maybe act like making the videos look more like actual videos that you would see on YouTube or on TV. Um, I saw on the lip sync battle that I was on last week or this week. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the guys, we some did this amazing, amazing rendition of the same song that I did. He blew me out of the water and it like with the lighting and the film and the way that the cinematography was working, like it looked like we were watching like a movie, a little short film and it was fantastic. So, and you know, I feel like that's going to be coming and, uh, it's definitely transitioning. I don't know what it's going to be doing. Um, yeah, I hate elevators. I'll be honest. I do. I got stuck in one when I was five, and I've never really been able to shake that. Um, I've been saying that Perry would be done within three years. I don't know. I have hope for it, because I've put so much time and effort and energy into it, and I believe in it, and I believe in the power of community, and I believe in the live streaming, and I like that it's the first one. I know Facebook's trying to copy it. They're trying to get some big celebrities right now to get on so that they can kind of spread it around and be like, look, it's really cool. All these people are using it, so you should too. But um, it's really just going to be more of the same, you know? So I think live streaming is definitely still the hottest way to social media. Can you social media? Is that a verb? Um, but, but it definitely needs to, I don't know, shake things up somehow. I enjoy your scope concert series and handoff idea. Thank you. I got trapped in a phone booth when I was a kid. Ooh. Ooh. No, 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 no. That does not sound fun. I don't know. No. Yep. Facebook is becoming completely irrelevant in my life. Like, I just don't use it. And then Facebook Live, I'm like, all these people, like, they don't want to, what? They already know me. <laughs> my ex-wife got stuck in a toilet. That sucks. It's not like Periscope. It's not. It's it's awkward. Periscope is social. Facebook is antisocial. Totally. I agree with that. I think with Facebook, it's only your own followers, and that's why it's kind of weird. <laughs> Andy, you are roasting me tonight. Jesus. I've had a rough week. I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm mentally on the verge, okay? And emotionally. I don't know if I can take the roasting. It's, it's tough. It's really, it's, you know, it's been a tough week. Thug life. Coconut. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Oh, honey, I know you're teasing. What's the future of this? I hear... I don't know. I can't see into the future. Do not get on bedside. 
You put the lime in the coconut, and then you drink the bowl up. Can you sing one song? Do you scope on the secret account? Not yet. I'm going to do it when I reach 100 followers on it. Um, I could, I could sing a song, but honestly I haven't warmed up and it would probably be detrimental to my voice. Um, so I think it would be better if I saved my voice and then did it when I was properly warmed up and you guys could enjoy it more as well. Twitter hired more engineers to develop the Android side. That's cool, because I know Android users like totally get screwed out of using Periscope. Like, it just sucks on their side. Tell us a panda story. One day there was a panda, and he was really hungry, and he was like, man, I really wish I had some bamboo. And, and then he was like, oh, wait, there's bamboo everywhere. And then he was like, oh, man, I don't like this once he tried it. And he was like, now what do I do? And he was like, I don't know what to eat. And so then he was like, maybe I'll just eat eucalyptus leaves. And, the, and then the koala bear that came along was like, no, don't, you can't eat our eucalyptus leaves. Those are for us. And, and he was like, yeah, but I don't like, I don't like bamboo. I don't want to eat it. I don't want to do it anymore. And so then the koala was like, well, you can try a little bit of mine. And he tried it, and he was like, this is the greatest thing in my life. And it was delicious. And so then the koala was like, all right, fine. Havesies. We'll do havesies, okay? And so they traded, and then the koala was like, oh my god, this bamboo's actually really good. And they were like, all right, cool. So then for the rest of their lives, they just traded, and then it was really great. And uh, the end. There's a panda story. Thank you. No, I've never, I've never been, you like that story? I've never been a cigarette smoker at all. This thing is just something to keep my mouth busy. Just so you guys know, vaporizers can exist that have no drugs in them. I just enjoy it. Carrie, did you shave your head? Yes, that's why I'm not showing anybody. You love the story? <laughs> I can make up shit about anything, dude. Anything. Honestly, and I love doing it, like, with friends that I can banter back and forth with, that you just keep making up shit, and it gets more and more outlandish the whole time, and you're just, like, by the end of it, you're just, like, well, fuck, now we live on Mars, and we completely own the entire universe, and dogs are flying around us instead of stars, and we're just, like, completely, like, what? So, you are too? That's really funny. <laughs> it's calming. I like it. Because you can cloud chase. That was a cloud. All right, guys. I'm going to go. That was my panda story. I think on that note, the end. Oh, I'm so sorry, Chris. I do apologize. I'm so sorry. Don't do it. Don't do it, though. Don't do it. Um, I love you all. It's only 837 over here, but if it's later over there, nighty night. And um, thank you guys for stopping in and saying hi to the panda. And I will see you guys later. Happy Friday. Where can I find you singing? Um, man, okay, there's multiple places. You can go to YouTube and you can type in my full name, which is in my um, my bio. It says Carrie Elimelech. I have Smoke Free for two years. Good for you. Um, I have... Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I have my full name in my bio. So, oh, Rob, you're still here. Um, wait, I can't, I, what was that last thing about vaping? I missed it. Okay. Wait, who's convinced? Who's not convinced of what? I missed something. So you can find it um, if you look my name up on YouTube. You can find uh, you can find it on Catch if you go to catch.com. Um, oh yeah, no, I'll definitely say that vaping affects vocals because it dries it out. The um, the juice that they use, regardless of whether or not there's nicotine in it, does dry it out. But if you counteract that with something watery or, you know, aloe or something like that, um, you know, it definitely helps. I wouldn't say like, hey, go, go do this and then go sing it like a four hour gig, but I don't think it has, um, a permanent effect that I've noticed. Um, but who knows, you know, I'm no doctor. I'm just a panda. 
So anyways, I was just saying, so yeah, you can YouTube or you can go to catch.me slash pass the bananas. So I don't know if you know about that site, but it's got literally every scope I've ever done. And so I, any singing one you can catch there. And um, where else? Where else can you go? Just type in my name on Google. You'll find stuff. All right, guys. I love you all. Mwah. Have a wonderful night. Bye, sorry. Bye. I'm so excited. Bye. I think that's the noise a panda makes.